You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a brand new fresh face for Greater Brockton. Kristen McNevin from Brockton Interfaith Community, otherwise known as BIC. Welcome. Thank you so much, Glad Mark. You're Thank here. you for having Glad me. You're here. Glad to be here. Um, BIC is a series of congregations all kind of linked together, and you're from the Brockton Covenant Church, you That's told correct. me, um, that get together in groups to deal with social justice issues, uh, issues in the community that are important to people. Yes. And one of the most important issues that we have is our future with our children. Yes. Okay. Brockton Public Schools, there is an, I think it's an action, is it called an action? Am yes, I right? a community action. A community That's action correct. on October 10th. And where's it being held? It's being held at Trinity. Okay. Trinity Baptist Church on Main Street at 7 p.m. Okay, and what you're trying to do is we know that Brockton Public Schools have been underfunded. Mm. Um, we were fortunate enough that the legislature recognized that and gave us some more funds at the end after mm -hmm. all the teachers were laid off, but we have large class sizes. We yes. have a lot of maintenance issues. Um, the city fathers and mothers, the elected officials, the state legislative delegation, the city council, the mayor, the school committee, They've worked really hard to keep our Absolutely. system intact. Absolutely. And the system's been under assault. We have a wonderful Brockton Public School system. Absolutely. We we have level one rated schools. Um, we're in USA, US News and World Report. But it takes money to pay the bills, mm. pay the teachers, pay the staff. Absolutely. Um, and what you're trying to do is rally the community together yes. to send the message that this is important. To us now, who do you expect to come to the action? Well, Mark, we expect certainly our congregations to come. Mm -hmm. um, all of us are from different congregations within Brockton, and we're also partnering partnering with Sharon Interfaith Action okay. for this particular community action. So we do expect members of all of our congregations, as well as the congregations represented in Sharon Interfaith Action, to come to this event as well. Uh, we know that we will have a large number of public officials that will be present. Um, several members of school committee have confirmed, as well as several members of city council. Um, we hope to see the mayor at our action. Uh, we have invited uh, some of our state officials, mm -hmm. uh, our families. Uh, we expect to see some students at the action. We yeah. expect to see our faith leaders at the action. Uh, we just we hope it's a full house. There's been a big campaign in Brockton for a number of years, the Brockton Kids Count campaign yes. that the school department has put together. I and have they've a bumper done a lot of events. Yes. So do I, and I have a sign. <laughs> Even though people don't like signs, I, I yep, put it up. Absolutely. Because I graduated from Brockton High a long, long time ago. Likewise. <laughs> TV studio was there. That's how I got into TV. We wow. had TV back in the back in the day, as my son <laughs> would say. And um, you know, that's how I got my love for for what I do. Wow. And only in a place like Brockton with a high school the size that we have. I mean, yeah. when I went there, it was even bigger yeah, than it is now. I'm sure. Um, but now we have new uh, new middle schools. It wasn't it wasn't a middle school concept. It was a junior high right. when I was there. Same. And they, we were lucked out. We built five new schools in Brockton because Brockton's a very diverse yes. community, and we were able to get funding through desegregation, yes. and we got 90 cents on the dollar from the state. Now, wow. in recent years, the state has not been as generous with Brockton. Correct. Okay. <laughs> um, we also have an, a, a, another threat to public schools, yes. okay? And I am a school committee member on Southeastern Regional, Voctech. Okay. Okay. It affects us too, but the charter school that came into Brockton that gives people other choices mm -hmm. takes money out of the public school Correct. system, and that has taken about fifteen million dollars out mm -hmm. of the school system. Yes. Um, uh, so it's caused issues. Like if I, I'll, I, I'll, I'm, I'm an absolute charter opponent. I'm not mm -hmm. ashamed of saying it because I'm <laughs> an elected public school official. There okay. is not accountability for charter schools like there is for school Correct. committees because there's an elected school committee, mm -hmm. and if you have a problem, you can go speak to that committee. Not with a charter school. There's nobody elected. They're appointed, and they yes. collect a salary. Mm. I don't collect a salary for being mm. on my school committee. So what you folks are trying to do is important to everybody because people forget if someone's a senior, their kids already went through the school system. Like my kids, I don't want to say I'm a senior yet, but <laughs> my kids have already both gone through the system. Yes. It's every generation's responsibility to pay Absolutely. for the next generation. And I would say it's beneficial for every generation to have well-funded schools. Right, because you get smarter kids, kids that go on to, to produce mm -hmm. 
tax revenue because yeah. they're homeowners and their parents down the road that it's have safer kids. safer communities in general. And people look, when they're buying real estate, if you have a good school system, yes. they're going to come. Higher and we values, have a good certainly. school system, but it's just been shot at. Yes. Brockton gets a lot of shots taken at it. It makes me crazy. I've lived here my Absolutely. whole life. Absolutely. And it's a good community. Absolutely. So we hope that a lot of people are going to come. We've been involved with a lot of the different big things over the years. My original congregation that I belonged to was Temple Israel, which oh, yes. shut its doors. Yeah. And now it's a church, so it's a house of worship. Okay? But the temple was involved. Temple Bethamuna that I yes, also went to absolutely. when it was in Brockton was involved, and a, a lot of a lot of the congregations. I mean, that's what makes Brockton stronger. All the yes. all the diversity, all the different religions, and everyone getting together. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna put a bug in your ear. We're gonna tell <laughs> Will. I know he's in the other room, but um, in Sharon, I went to this phenomenal thing that was uh, an interfaith. It was a whole community thing with. The Rotary Club, which I have friends in, and the Lions Club, and they had a food festival. Oh, wow. So I'm going to put like that fun. bug in your ear. We have Cape Verdean, Haitian, Hispanic. Oh, that would be amazing. It. We need a food festival. <laughs> Absolutely. It would okay? be world class. <laughs> um, because we have so many people. I, I just uh, covered another event. The Lincoln Congregational Church has a 121st anniversary, so I just promoted that. He said, Ray came on and promoted it, and he says, well, our fourth day, we just need to let you know we have a little collation, which means we have food. Yes. So knowing <laughs> Ray and knowing that Ray likes to eat like I do, <laughs> I got to be there just for the food. But, um, you know, that has a big capacity. The Trinity Baptist Church, it has, it's a large yes. room. So yes. you can handle a Absolutely. lot of people over there. Absolutely. Okay. Is there a phone number or, or website or Facebook for people to look at, at the event? Absolutely. So um, people who are interested in coming, which hopefully will be everybody in the community, should go to the Facebook page for Brockton Interfaith Community. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an event page right there, and um, it's our community action, hashtag Can You Hear Us Now? Mm -hmm. uh, so they can go to that. They can respond to that. If they forget the details, 7 p.m. at Trinity Baptist Church, the time, the location, everything is on there. Couldn't be better. I hope I gave you enough time to talk and I didn't <laughs> talk too much. Anything I missed that I didn't cover that you want to let me know about? Um, I just want to reiterate what you uh, had said before, that this is uh, really an event that everybody can take part in, Mark. Um, every person in our community, whether you have a child in the school system like I do, or whether you just live here, or whether you just love someone who does, there's a seat for everybody at this event. Um, and come and learn what you can do to positively affect change in the Brockton public school system, but also for every public school system in the state that's been affected by this funding formula. Well, well said, and uh, as we all know, to borrow a phrase, it takes a village or Absolutely. it takes a city. Absolutely. So thanks for doing what you do. Thank you so much, Mark. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.